External, looking for a teddy bear. I am not the op. This was posted on the website plushmemories.com on the 27th of July 2014. Original post. I'm looking for a mother care tan bear that is about 12 inches or 30 centimeters long from head to foot. The tag number was SIF A81108110. And it was made in Vietnam. It was available in mother care around 2002. I purchased this teddy bear from Mothercare in 2003 when my son was born. We named this bear Ted. He was loved and adored by my son Chris. Ted went through a lot with Chris. As he was born with a congenital heart condition called Follows Tetralogy. Ted went to every hospital appointment with Chris. Always staying overnight in the hospital with him and even had a 7-hour operation with him to fix his heart. Ted spent seven weeks in intensive care keeping Chris company. They truly were inseparable. Unfortunately, five years ago Ted became lost in a house move. Chris was devastated. I tried different bears, but it just wasn't the same. Over the last few years I have searched for Ted, but never had any luck. Chris had to go through his hospital checkups without Ted. At a recent appointment, the consultant has told us that Chris will be needing another operation on his heart in the near future. Chris instantly wanted Ted. He became upset at the thought of not having him by his side. At the age of 11 he still misses him dearly. He would love to be able to take Ted with him once again while the amazing doctors fix his heart. For the second time, I would love to be able to reunite my son with Ted. I want to see the smile on his face when he knows that Ted will be going on the journey with him. Through more surgery, it's the only thing he has ever really wanted back. And I know he misses him dearly. The doctors have given him a maximum of two years to his operation. But that also depends on how fast Chris deteriorates slightly frowning face I just hope I can find Ted in time slightly smiling face. Thanks. Claire. Update. The 16th of September 2014. Thank you so much for your comments. We have been very successful and found Ted. I also advertised on Facebook in the hope that the power of social network would help. I received a message from a lady called Veronica who had contacted Mothercare on my behalf to help track Ted down. Mothercare tried everything but couldn't help as it was produced so long ago. I almost gave up hope until I received another message from Veronica. She asked for my address as she had found an identical bear. It turned out that she lived 15 minutes away from me so she came over that day. It really was a magical moment. She knocked on the door and asked for Chris. She was holding a child's lunchbox. She told Chris that it had been found at Gatwick Airport and she was asked to return it to him as she lived close by. Inside the lunchbox Chris found Ted, a secret agent book, a bag of sweets and a note. The note said that Ted had been on a secret mission but was now ready to return home. Chris sobbed his heart out as he couldn't believe he had Ted back. As you can imagine it certainly reduced myself and Veronica to tears. I have no idea where she found the bear and I can never thank her enough for going to all the trouble she did to help Chris. There truly are some amazing people in this world slightly smiling face xxx. The secret agent that was so perfect. Ted was busy on another important job. He didn't abandon anyone. And now he is back at his main job. Hospital comfort bear. I don't usually tear up at these but this one got me. My son has tetralogy of follow as well and has already had one surgery. The hospital gave us a heart pillow, a lovey, and a blanket to keep with him during the recovery. The idea of getting the news he needs surgery all over again after all this would break me. And another reminder to new parents that if you buy the one toy for your child, have backups. Such a wonderful story. Tears and all.
The secret agent plot was brilliant. Just chef's kiss. Fun side story. My wife has been looking for my childhood teddy bear for months. Not the exact object. We know what happened to him and he's gone. But an identical one. I casually googled, mother care bear, upon seeing this title and, well. We definitely found the brand. I didn't see any listings or pictures of my exact one. But ones from nearby years that have only very small differences. This is maybe the first real lead ever. Other than, came with a set of crib sheets in or around 1989, and a picture of him. She didn't ask Veronica where she got the bear. That would probably keep me awake at night wondering if I was oop. This reminds me of a story I read recently here on Reddit about Kafka and the traveling doll. I needed this this morning. Come on. Man. I'm at work. I can't be seen with these big tears. The guys getting gas and coffee will worry about me. It's a terrible day for rain. At the age of 24 after being discharged from a psych hospital. I had a brain fart and left my teddy. From birth. In the sheets. The sheets were stripped and sent to an industrial laundromat. My mom called around until she got onto the laundry. Then she traveled a three-hour round trip on the off chance he had been rescued into their lost and found. The laundromat had a room of all the lost things that had been found. It was beautifully sad. I now have Teddy again. He is flatter and lost his nose. But he's safe. I've retired him to watching over me for now. But he's there when I need him. Still. I'm so grateful to everyone. Especially mom and the laundry. That got him back. I need to go hug my kids. Oh this is so sweet. Edit I cannot spell. Okay. Who's cutting onions? It's not hay fever season. So my eyes must be watering because someone is cutting up onions. Own up. I proper sobbed out loud at this. My heart is bursting at this story. Thank God for all the good people in the world. Sometimes the internet is a good place. My mother taught me one of the best lessons with my stuffed animals. If you buy your kid a stuffed animal they absolutely fall in love with. Buy an extra or two and store them safely in the closet where the kid won't see. If they lose the stuffed animal, you have a backup to avoid significant heartbreak. And if you never need to pull out the backup, you have a new old one you can gift them for any reason. Sometimes it's nice to compare a new old one to a well-loved one. That reminds me of Amelie. Damn, you got me right in the feels this morning. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.